And they make me eat stupid crackers. I don't want crackers. I hate drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Hi, guys. I would just like to say that after I got the anesthesia drugs, I was very angry and emotional and I didn't mean most of the things that I said. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Mm. <laughs> the vlog. It's surgery day. And I have to wear glasses because they wouldn't let me wear contacts. Which, I'm pretty sure, didn't I wear contacts for my uh, other one? Which one? The egg retrieval. I don't know, did you? I'm pretty sure they told me that I couldn't, and that I, and I did still. Oh, well, that sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, because I think that's dumb that they don't let you. Because I understand why they don't want you to have them in, because like, if you never wake up, then sure. But like, if you're going to wake back up at the end, <laughs> then it's fine, if and I'm going to do that, so. If you're never going to wake up, don't you have <laughs> you really bigger problems than contacts? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, like, if you're never, if you're not going to wake up for a long time. No. Like, <laughs> if, if you, they don't want to keep your eyes closed with contacts in, if you, like, go into a coma for a little while or something. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, but... That won't happen, so why can't I wear contact? We're going for the uh, sentinel node injection first. <laughs> um, I don't really know what that means or what they're going to do, but I haven't really asked any questions because I don't really care. And then after that, we'll Just more go. dye. Just more dye for you. More. More dye. More radioactive more. dye. <laughs> Right? Is it radioactive or I not? I heard that it's radioactive. Oh, well that's nice. I believe it's just your standard ordinary dye. Sweet. And it's like, makes things blue or something? Yeah, they put it in and then they see where it travels. And then they know which nodes things would go to first. And so they take out the ones that have the dye in it? Well, they that take what happens? out those and they sample them. And then they see what they look like. And then they also take out the, the tumor. Oh, yeah. They don't want to leave that. It, yeah. I mean, unless they forget, but hopefully they don't. Are they taking out your port today? <laughs> Not that I know of. They didn't say that. Right? They didn't I, say that they were going to. They said that sometimes they do, but I don't think that they're going to. So we can see how angry I get at everybody when I'm on anesthesia. Yeah, how about you not do that this time? How about you be nice to the poor people? Look, I'm either, I'm either going to be like really emotional and like cry the entire time or I'm going to be angry and mean to people. I think that the re the I'm thing that's <laughs> I think that the thing that's stopping me from crying is just being a jerk. When I'm on anesthesia, I like don't have a filter. And so then I don't cry because I'm actually like telling people why I'm so angry and before I'm like holding it in it makes me mad and I like cry. Like when that guy messed up my port. Gosh. One time that when was, I was getting that chemo, was bad. there was this guy and he was accessing my port, but he missed. And man, that hurts. That needle is big, guys. It's so big. You probably shouldn't tell people that because then you're going to make people nervous that that can happen. Probably... It hasn't happened since then. Most people don't. Don't mess that up. <laughs> Everyone else. But once it happens to you, though, you're always kind of wondering that it might happen again. So that kind of sucks. Because, like, I never thought of that as a possibility before that happened. He was very sorry, though. He was very sorry, but it still of, happened. He expressed a lot of remorse. I'm ready for the port to be gone, but it's okay if it's not gone yet. We can just do one thing at a time. We'll be back. We get to the hospital. I just got the injection. It took like 15 seconds, or it probably took like a minute. That they said it was gonna feel like a bee sting, and they just stuck it in right above the nipple, and then it stung for 30 seconds, and then it was over. And now we're driving to the outpatient place, which is just across the street. So 
it's not gonna take that long, but they told us that we might want to keep our car over there so we shouldn't walk. Because then at the end of this surgery, we can leave in the car. And then we'll show you how long it takes to get up this elevator. 20 years. About. So it's going to be a while until the surgery. I'll be a lot older. Um, but you know, you just got to do it. I'm hoping. They gave me this thingy that I can't take off. It's sad because usually I slide this on and off. How do I know what we're doing now? I'm getting some fluid thingy. They're coming down for you at 9.15. That's what's happening. <laughs> and then the surgery is two hours. Yes. And then an hour after that, one well, they make, they force me to stay. And they're jerks. I don't, I don't think they're being jerks. I think, they're, I think they're just being what they're supposed to be. Good medical professionals. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be good that medical that been professionals. <laughs> Who are excellent at their jobs, know exactly what they're doing, and are here to take care of you every step of the way. Says the PR person. <laughs> I just had to get wheeled up here in a wheelchair even though I can walk perfectly fine. And I have these stupid socks. <laughs> My socks have foxes on them. And they're way better than this. And they said that I need these because of the grips. My socks have grips on them. And also, why do I need socks with grips on them if they're just going to wheel me around all <laughs> over the place when I don't need to be wheeled around? <laughs> I also got some saline that was put in my arm and my blood pressure taken. They didn't put any saline in the intro. Yeah, they did. Okay. They, they injected some saline with like oh. a little shot thingy. Gotcha. Yeah, but they're just blocking it now and then they'll use it later. Right. Yeah. On times. Gray's wearing my sweatshirt. Oh. <laughs> it's my sweatshirt. <laughs> some fluids now. It's fun time. It was really cool on the ultrasound when they inserted the wires into the lymph nodes. You could like see on there where the clip was that they put when they did the biopsies and then you could see like the needle going in and it like pushed and it was like going through and then she like got the wire like right on the clip. It was super cool. It looked cool. They're taking out the cord which is great. Have fun. Asking my pain scale. I don't know the answer. And they make me eat stupid crackers. I don't want crackers. They all like started. Doctor kept touching my feet. <laughs> Why did she do that? Maybe we'll have to put a sign on you next time. She was like, are your feet ticklish? And she kept touching my feet. I think she had some kind of special surgery. And her guy had kids that went to... Hmm. I think right. This one graduated in 2012. I don't know her names. I didn't ask if they were in the band. There's so much blood in this. It's okay. I think that the reason they're offering you yeah. crackers that you don't want. Yeah, because they want me to stupid eat. Yeah, no, no, because they don't want the medicine to make you feel sick. I know. No one wants to eat after I get out of surgery. No, Why is your arm orange?
I don't know. <laughs> the special cleaning stuff yeah, it makes you dirty. <laughs> I did. Your arm is your arm. They didn't care about cleaning that one. You do like tan. When do we get to leave? I'm going to tell them a stupid number. Tell them your number's one and then we can leave. <laughs> so you need to tell them like a high number when you first ask you and then you just start telling them lower numbers and then they let you leave. I don't know a stupid number. It just hurts. <laughs> but how much? I don't know. Does it hurt a medium enough or a lot? It doesn't hurt a lot. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I woke up once and she told me why I was orange and then I went back to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up again and she told me why I was orange again. <laughs> I forget why though. <laughs> but she told me twice. <laughs> and then I think I fell asleep a third time. Sleep's good. And this is after you got out of surgery? Mm -hmm. Where the heck are we? We're in a different spot than all the times. Yeah. This isn't any of the normal places that we were before. No, it's not. It's pretty good that you have enough directional sense to know that it's a different location. No window. Blue. Do they this paint is it so blue? Dumb. I'm really dizzy. <laughs> because I want to move. Well, do you want the thing up more? I, I want to move my butt backwards. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why the heck did she have to keep touching my feet? What the heck is her problem? There's only one of these things. Yes. Why? Because they have to take out some of the parts. How many? They took out the level one and the level two. <sighs> That's stupid. But not the threes. Yeah, well, they already said they weren't going to do that. Well, sometimes they do. I only Snapchatted you. Oh, you didn't send dumb Snapchats to everybody? <laughs> no. That was the most fun part. I'm going to eat these crackers before I leave. I don't know how to hear the cracker instructions. I have to eat them so that this pain stuff doesn't hurt me. Make my stomach nauseous. I have to pee. Wow, I'm really dizzy. What the heck, my old friend? <laughs> you gotta be careful with that robe or else we're not gonna be able to put this on no, YouTube. I'm trying to put it back. Now it's stuck on my massive arm fat. It's not even light. Just leave it. Leave it. Jumps out. Why the heck do they need to put orange stuff on this part? They didn't do anything to this part. They need to have the whole surgical field nice and orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> this is way later than they said it was going to be. It's stinking 148. Oh my gosh, why do they give you so many drugs? <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Have you had any crackers? No. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to eat stupid crackers right after they finish surgery? Nobody. How are you guys doing here? <laughs> We're 
great. We're getting, we're getting there. <laughs> Is that sarcasm? <laughs> yeah, a Just bit. a little. <laughs> I think you're doing really well, though. Yeah, I think that that uh, block that we did in the OR is really helping. You look pretty comfortable for the most part. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking like you want to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, I figure, okay. That was emphatic, not sarcasm there. <laughs> you doing okay on your water? Do you need more? Okay. And I know you hate at me asking you, like, how's your pain? <sighs> Zero. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Is that your baseline sarcasm? I just want to leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go through that process. <laughs> so when they took out the <clears throat> the lymph nodes that they take out to biopsy, right then they do they freeze it and they look at it. There was still one that had some cancer in it. So based on that. Also, the crackers are stale. Do they take, do they take, do they, do they, um, biopsy the other ones they take out? I believe so. Yeah. Do they biopsy all of them? How many is that total? I don't know that she told us how many total, but I think we'll know at the end. So I can get that other disease they told me about? The lymphedema? Yeah. Um. It's, so it's a possibility, but it's unlikely with you because it happens more. You're not old and you're not fat. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going filming? Yeah. My pee's blue. Anything else to add? It's pretty color. Like the color of your shirt? No, it's not that blue. It's, it's like the color of the sky. Good to know. We'll check back in later. So the reason that they're able to get the lymph nodes out and test them right then is because they can flash freeze them. <laughs> right. And so they can get the results and they can see if they have cancer in them. But they can't do that with the breast tissue right away because that's just not how it works. So they have to wait. They said that I would get my results in four to seven days. So we have to wait until we get the results of that to see if it has cancer, to see if, and then to test the margins to see if I have to get more removed and stuff like that. I have not just like cancer, I also have like ductal carcinoma in situ. Mm -hmm. And so if they found that in the margins, they would also wanna get, do more of the lumpectomy or do the, the the full mastectomy yes. just because like that stuff can lead to cancer yeah some people they tell them if they have the DCIS that it's not real cancer which is uh. kind of dumb for the people that have it because it seems pretty real to me <laughs> and they still have to get rid of it yeah um, so they would yes they would still want to they would still want to get rid of all of that but she said that it looked like normal tissue. Yes. So it looks like Which, normal tissue, but it might not be. Right, because it would have the it would have the, the ductal carcinoma the in situ yeah. left. So we have to wait and see. I really hope it's fine because I don't want to do this again. These drugs are just making me so loopy. How you always act. I hate <laughs> drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. I don't know why anyone would want to do drugs. Did they let me keep this on the whole time? Because it seemed like it was in the same position and everything. Probably. They probably just put the other thing on top of it. Mm, that was nice. Look how orange my arm is. I don't know if you can see. 
there's like a spot right yeah you can tell right here because there's one spot that's normal and the rest is orange should I show the incision trigger warning um, there it is also my nipple is blue I don't know if I said that already either and there's also an incision under my arm from them getting the lymph nodes. So that's some fun stuff. I'm going, I'm getting a smoothie, a tropical smoothie right now. My throat kind of feels sore more on the right side for some reason. Smoothies should help. Yeah. Smoothies are great. You know what I'm most glad about though? When they got my um they put the IV in they did it on the first try I was impressed with that yeah because you know what it is is because they went straight for the hand <laughs> yeah, they didn't bother with they didn't arms. even try to <laughs> go in my arm because those are just completely messed up now oh there's more orange stuff like <laughs> all over me here too Whew, okay that's enough for now Everybody is really nice. All your messages and things. Thanks for all of your messages. Crazy eating tropical smoothie sandwich. I hate you, Buzz. Oh, Buzz, go My away. My cat was waiting for me. It's not Buzz, though. We don't like Buzz. Yeah, Get Buzz here. is kind of annoying, so I'm trying to get him off. I just don't want to deal with him right now. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Mm, I'll show you. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I'm back and I'm still in bed. But I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos I've done. Subscribe to support me on my cancer adventures and follow me on Instagram. Special thanks to everyone who helped me, my mom, my dad, my boyfriend. They were really great, even though I was a jerk. 